Alaihi Wasallam from the persecution of Quraysh all his life, Abu Lahab was his brother. And Abu Lahab was also half-brother of Prophet Muhammad Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam, father, Abdullah. He was called Abu Lahab, father of flame, because of his beauty and charm and due to his red inflamed cheeks. His real name was Abdul Uzza, meaning the slave of Uzza, goddess of pre-Islamic era. In the seventh year of Islam, Quraysh, after getting completely frustrated with Prophet Muhammad Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam's unshakable Iman on Allah, Quraysh decided to impose a boycott on Banu Hashim to cut off all the social and business ties with Banu Hashim tribe, unless they deliver Prophet Muhammad Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam or they can starve to death. Abu Lahab was the only person from Banu Hashim tribe who signed the ban and decided to backstab his own clan. A ban which caused the tribe to leave Makkah and to seek safety in a ravin near Makkah, which later came to be known as Sheep Abu Talib. A famine struck within the tribe. There was extreme shortage of food and water. You could hear babies crying due to hunger. Children going to sleep malnourished and adults scavenging whatever they could for their families and their tribe. Hazrat Khatija Razilano used to pay gold for a small amount of water, a transaction made possible only due to Hazrat Ali Razilano risking his own life. The entire clan, although not believing in the message of Prophet Muhammad Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam, still accepted this ban but protected the Prophet. On the other hand, Abu Lahab Evening, would you believe me? Yes, there. He addressed them by saying, were I to tell you that an enemy is drawing near and will attack you tomorrow morning or evening, would you believe me? Yes, they replied. So then he said, Oh, listen to me, he went on. I am warning you of God's gruesome torment. This did not go well with Abu Lahab. And he snapped at our prophet and said, Damn you, for this have you called us? Muhammad promises me things which I do not see. He alleges that they will happen after my death. What has he put in chale, my hands chale, after batao, that? Mujhe tum then he blew nahi. on his hands and said, May you perish. I can see nothing in you of the things that Muhammad nahi, nahi, says. And this incident, the surah was revealed. This signifies that he had role in a person's life of blazing flame. May the hands of Abu Lahab be ruined and ruined is he. And plays a significant role in a person's life. Most of the tasks have to be completed by hands and cursing Abu Lahab's hands and also himself signifies that he has been doomed in this life and in the hereafter. This curse is carried in the hell for him where he will be in the fiercest dungeons of hell, but special torments will come to his hands. After all, they are the same hands from which he signed the ban on Banu Hashim and blew on it and said he can't see nothing what Prophet Muhammad Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam says. Those same hands will be ruined and ruined as he. His wealth will not avail him or that which he gained. He was a wealthy businessman who had handsome sums of money and he also had sons. In Arab cultures, children and especially sons are considered the wealth of a person. None of his wealth came to his rescue when he developed a severe contagious health issue, due to which he was forced to isolate in his own house and never came out. After the defeat of Badr, when people of Makkah were already in a sorry state, they were informed about the demise of one of their leaders. Abu Lahab died due to his contagious conditions. His condition was so demeaning that even after his death, no one, not even his sons, were willing to go near his dead body. Three days after his death, when his body started to rot in a very bad shape and the smell was unbearable for anyone passing by, people started mocking his sons that they need to dispose his body. His sons hired few laborers who used sticks to push his body in a pit and covered it with stones 
instead of soil because no one wanted to get close to the body. A nasty end for a nasty 